Hey everyone, Procter & Gamble reported fourth quarter fiscal 2023 results. I'm going to review their latest figures in this video. I'm also going to update my recommendation on Procter & Gamble stock. Heading into these results, I had the stock rated as a buy. You're going to want to tune in to see if I'm updating that recommendation. Let's get right into it. Starting with net sales, which came in at $20.6 billion. That was up by 5% year over year. Earnings per share of $1.37 was up by 13% year over year. Procter & Gamble has done an excellent job keeping costs under control and increasing revenue mainly by increasing prices. This was impressive. The company raised prices by an average of 7% across its portfolio, while unit volume only decreased by 1%. Remember the economic relationship when price goes up, demand goes down. So the fact that Procter & Gamble was able to increase price by 7% and have demand only go down by 1% demonstrates its pricing power. Consumers hesitate before switching from Procter & Gamble's brands to lower cost brands just yet, even after the price increases. Cash flow from operations increased to $16.8 billion in all of 2023. That was up from $16.7 billion in 2022. That's roughly on revenue of a little over $82 billion. So the company does a good job of turning sales into cash flow. Procter & Gamble is forecasting 2024 revenue growth of 3.5% and earnings per share growth of 7.5%. A solid year for a company like Procter & Gamble if it does indeed hit those targets. In a surprising twist, Procter & Gamble expects a $400 million benefit from falling commodity prices in fiscal year 2024. After over two years of inflation hitting Procter & Gamble for over $2 billion, finally Procter & Gamble is going to experience some benefit from falling commodity prices. And that's good news for Procter & Gamble investors. So to update my recommendation of Procter & Gamble stock, I am keeping the stock rated as a buy. The company has done a good job of keeping costs under control during these inflationary times while passing on some of those higher prices to customers and demonstrating its pricing power. For those reasons and the relatively reasonable valuation, I would still recommend Procter & Gamble stock as a buy for long-term investors. But that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.